Myoarthropathy is derived from three Greek words, mys or muscle, arthron meaning joint, and pathos or suffering. Therefore, the term myoarthropathy of the chewing system refers to a condition in which individuals suffer from discomfort in the chewing muscles and or the jaw joint. Unfortunately, the term craniomandibular dysfunction, abbreviated CMD, is still frequently used for jaw, jaw joint, and facial pain. This term is unclear because it remains undefined. There will be more about this in the video entitled CMD. In the medical field, it is common for two diagnoses to exist for the exact same disease. This mirrors medical developments, which have shifted from a purely subjective to evidence-based therapy. The term myoarthropathy, or MAP, is clearly defined. The patient is treated for exactly what he or she is suffering from, whether it be pain and or a limited functionality, such as reduced mouth opening ability. In other words, doctors who use the term MAP for pain in the jaw, jaw joint, and facial area, support the opinion that many symptoms, such as jaw joint crackling, reduced lifelong mouth opening ability, jaw deviation during mouth opening or deflection, and many more conditions simply represent normal variations so long as the patient does not experience any discomfort or pain. In such cases, treatment is not necessary. By contrast, doctors who use the term CMD frequently treat symptoms but not the actual causes of these symptoms, and treatment often consists of inconsistent therapy concepts. This graphic should help explain the differences. You can clearly see that the area requiring treatment in red is significantly smaller with myoarthropathy. The diagnostic and treatment indicators are first and foremost determined by the patient rather than by the treating professional in MAP. The term myoarthropathy sums up muscle and jaw joint problems as well as combinations thereof. Therefore, the doctor has to differentiate between these options and initiate the appropriate treatment for patients suffering from pain and or suddenly occurring limited mouth opening ability. Through a combination of special questionnaires and clinical examinations, the doctor can easily pinpoint the correct diagnosis. The questionnaires help the doctor to differentiate between depressions, non-specific physical symptoms, bite problems, and chewing muscle issues. Picture-oriented examinations, such as an MRI, are seldom necessary. However, these are unfortunately still frequently needlessly performed. Treatment depends on the respective diagnosis. However, one overriding principle should always be considered. Since our jaw joint is very adaptable, any irreversible measures, such as the production of a new denture, should be avoided in MAP therapy. For example, during the acute phase of jaw joint pain, a so-called Michigan splint is completely sufficient because the body is capable of regulating many changes in the chewing apparatus on its own. These restructuring processes only take a little bit of time and a splint can help to bridge that time span.